Rise and shine, old man. We've got adventures with mages to undertake. Old man, he says. I'm not that old. Hmm? No? Nope. Just feel like it some days. Do you want me to make some Canis root tea before we go? I would, but where are we going to get Canis root all the way out here? Unless someone at the college happens to have a sample or something. Either way, you sound and sort of look like you're in pain. I'll be fine. It's just the cold. How are your scales? <gasps> so much better. You know that feeling when you get gunk under your fingernails? Uh, sort of. It's like that, but everywhere. Or, well, everywhere that gets exposed to the elements anyway, so... Mostly just my face and tail, luckily. I'm glad you're feeling better. Now, time to go see what's up with the college, eh? Indeed. Hopefully someone up here has a better handle on... the, uh... the basics of how staves work than I do. Hopefully. I... I doubt I'll be much use casting anything else, but... I suppose I can try. Think anyone will be able to heal your hands? Honestly, I'm trying not to hope. Hmm, fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry, Dagger. Hopefully, Soul is actually following me. You are. I. I'm not quite awake, but I'm awake enough. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, that's significantly nicer than waking up to a blizzard. I. You let the weather might change at any moment, though. By the way, were you up all night? Um. Yes? Cactus, you need sleep too. Uh, not as much as you do, I think. Is that an Argonian's a strange thing, or is that just a mage thing? Oh, that's just an... I grew up in House Telvani, and, uh, <laughs> sleep is for the weak kind of thing. Right. Ooh, look at this! Ooh. What is that? I have no idea. But it's cool looking. Oh. You were right about the weather. Aye, the hands don't lie. Unfortunately. Well, this is... Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Shall I not? Uh, what exactly are you doing out here in this weather? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? <sighs> May we enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Well, we sort of expect to find somebody who knows what they're doing with enchanting. And, you know, I personally just want to see what it looks like inside. Ha, huh. humor is often in short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Oh, I think we both know I'll succeed here? No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Hmm. You're lucky I got to clean out my scales. Otherwise, I would be even pricklier than usual right now. 
For his sake, I'll take your test. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. Ooh. I don't think I know that spell, but it sounds very, very useful. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. All right. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. So am I. Let's see how I do. Now I know other illusion spells, but they're not usually... They're not of this ilk, shall we no say. What, the college well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Child's play. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> pretty good, he says. Well. I, I should know better than to call you an apprentice, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am not an apprentice anymore. Well, sort of. Whoa. The college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Why, yes. Uh, I'll let you do... Is that what I think it is? Over there? Yeah, that's, I think, the Shrine of Azura. You know, it's... It's kind of hard to miss, isn't it? I'm amazed we didn't see it sooner. Well, we weren't exactly looking up too much. That's, uh... Ooh, what does this do? <laughs> it tickles. You are a very strange Argonian. Mm-hmm. Although, to be fair, I am not the best judge. That's... terrifying. I'm not the best judge of what constitutes a normal Argonian because, you know, I wasn't raised in Blackmarsh. Aye, that's fair. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Wow. Aye, wow indeed. Well, this is... Impressive, but very geometric. In what? It means it has a lot of straight lines. I know what geometric means, I'm just trying to figure out what you're comparing it to. Oh, you know, giant Telvani mushrooms. What are these? Ooh! They have greenhouses. I want to go in one of them. What? Oh, uh, out of curiosity, I want to see if it's any warmer in there than it is out here. Fair enough, lead on. Ooh, look at this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And everything is in bloom. Oh. Behold. My namesake. <laughs> so, uh, you like plants, do you? I do. I am not an alchemist, though, so I have no idea what most of these are, except for this big thing right here. Probably an import from elsewhere, if I were to guess. Or Hammerfell. I don't know where cactuses are actually native to. Where are you from again? Ha ha, very funny. What? Uh, 
in that old essay that humor is in short supply around here? Uh, yes, she did. You'll get along just fine in that case. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Oh. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Oh, great. We get to deal with the haughtiest bastards in Tamrio here. Apparently so. Although, <laughs> I'm not sure who actually wins that contest. The Thalmor or House Telvanni? <laughs> That's a good point. Excuse me, ma'am? Welcome to the college. Uh, are you Mirabelle Irvine? Because if you are, we were told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Sure. Yeah, as long as those robes are warmer than this. Anyway, lead on. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Oh, is that what the thing at the gate is about? Or bridge, rather. Aye, I can see where that would be a problem. Nords, at least the ones I've met, don't really seem... Uh, inclined toward magic. No, they really don't. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Oh no, I understand that completely. New students. We. Oui. <laughs> Ooh. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Uh, question. Is it just the one room for both of us, or...? It's not like we're not gonna be taking watches anyway. Oh? I'm paranoid enough. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. And I keep odd hours anyway, because I'm used to staying up late studying. Which I fully intend to do. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfti, one of our most esteemed wizards. Woo! I don't think wizard means here what it means back home. What does it mean back home? It means a very, very high-ranked member of House Telvanni. Ah. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Right. How do we know who the senior members are? It Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Right. Um... Codes of conduct. Are there any? There are no expectations. This college is a place to study and practice magic freely. Hopefully any discoveries made in your pursuits will be shared with the members of the college first. That way we all benefit. Ah, 
Understood. And where might we find him some uh, enchanting practice? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Veralda can teach destruction spells and offers training in that school. Finnis is one of the best conjurers in all of Skyrim and can help with spells from that school. Don't let Tolfdir fool you. He's the preeminent scholar on alteration. One of the best in Tamriel and always willing to pass on his knowledge. If you can find him and focus his attention, there's a great deal Drevis can teach you about illusion magic. And finally, there's Colette. She may be difficult to get along with. She's very knowledgeable when it comes to restoration magic. And none of those answer my question, but uh, thank you very much. Great. So, presumably they have an enchanting instructor around here somewhere. Uh, presumably. Right. Cactus. Mm-hmm. I'll let you get on with that. I have something that I'd like to do in town. Well, sort of. I'll let you do your thing, and later on we'll meet back up at the inn. How about that? That sounds like a plan to me. What are you doing? I'm gonna go take a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura. Don't look at me like that. I, I, like what? You know, that's a good point. Need something? Oh. Hello. Ooh. I like your uh, horn tassel thingies. Learning already, are we? Look, just because I see another Argonian and I admire her fashion choices doesn't mean I'm flirting. <laughs> right. I'll catch you later, Cactus. Mm-hmm. Uh, try not to uh, get killed by wolves or something on the way. I'll do my best. There's... Hey, Blondie. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution. Or else disaster is in But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Well... I think we should learn something practical. After all, if one of us makes a mistake and somehow hurts ourselves or blows up this entire place, it will be a valuable lesson, don't you think? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Uh, I don't really know any. My, uh, uh, my expertise is mostly, well, not restoration. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Alright, everyone out of the way. I've never cast a ward in my life. Let's Wouldn't see how this goes. Else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep. You have to keep your ward up or else this won't work. 
I, don't I can hold you. this all day. Come on. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Ooh. Did he say Sarthol? Maybe that's what this strange fellow is here for. <laughs> Hello. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you, all of you, very closely. <laughs> From down there? I'm sure you will. Anyway, what is it that you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. Mm hmm And does he often ask for advice? I imagine he isn't called the Archmage for no reason. Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusting. Ooh, that doesn't sound scheming at all. Good luck, Blondie. I don't like him. Although he is quite fun to insult. Now then, let's see if this is the Arcanium that I've heard so much about. I care little for idle conversation. Ooh. But perhaps you need help with conjuration magic. Uh, maybe later. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> I can keep an eye on Soul from here. <laughs> Actually, I probably could. I might even be able to see when he's coming back. What is all of this? Ooh. Are you looking for any specific volumes, Travis? Hmm? Oh, no, no. Not good. I uh. actually I've forgotten. Ooh. Uh, well, An orrery. I ought to get Soul up here. He could learn a lot from all of this. Very cool. Very cool and ooh. Where are we? We're up there. Mount Anthor. Look at all of that. Labyrinthian? Huh. I wonder if there's... Um... The Imperial Geological Survey. Wow. I did not know the Imperials had bathymetry. Bathymetry? Some way to study the ocean. That is very interesting indeed. Ooh. I think I could spend a lot of time in here. Ooh. In here. Very cool indeed. Ooh, there's a shell. <gasps> ah, I very much like this place. Stone walls notwithstanding. <laughs> right, I need to go find whoever's in charge of enchanting around here. I'm not sure where I would, but I will look, and hopefully not get 
too distracted. Well, this is not exactly the weather that I would have liked. But let's see if we can find our way up there. That might be easier. I thought I saw a path going up that way down the road there, but... Oh, hello. I wonder if they sell cloaks here. Let me know if you see anything you like. I like that spinning wheel. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what have you got for sale here? Beautiful things for beautiful people. Right, indeed. Do you have anything in the way of, well, cloaks? Uh, sort of. <laughs> Something for cactus, maybe? He does have a liking of, uh, circlets. Your inventory is expansive. Wow. Right. I'm honestly not sure any of these are... Something that'll fit over my armor. Well, that's alright. It was good to check. Good day. I probably should have said something like good day, Zra, or... Something like that. I sort of want to get up there before the weather gets any worse, though. I can hardly see where I'm going as it is. There's path markers, but... I don't know who that is and I don't want to bother. Oh yes I do. Some kind of criminal. And what exactly have you done to these nice people? Never should have come here. I'll tear you to pieces. Will you now? Well, you're certainly something, aren't you? I'm going to put you down. This would be so much easier if Cactus were here. You know, how about I run you into Winterhold and let You're the guards take angry. care of you? I think that sounds guards, right fine. Damn you. Hello, goat. You might want to get out of the way. What? Can't keep up with little old me? A man with no hands and you can't even track me down. You're not so tough, are you? 
I'm gonna crush you like a bug. I'm sure you are. Come on then. Good idea. I'm gonna kill you. Hello. Hey guards, I found a criminal for you. Why are they I'll rip you in half. These folks are useless. Come on. There. What? Yeah, no, I probably shouldn't have been surprised by that. There are mages around. I'm sure he was just an illusion. Excuse me, miss. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Right. Until next time. Awkward. I hope you're okay. Where's Riften? Riften must be all the way down there then. Alright. Let's try this again. I think I'm gonna go for speed this time because anything attacking me, I don't really have a way to defend myself anymore. Because I'm not sure how to use soul gems yet. This looks promising, and dangerous. Although I suppose the shield is uh, good enough for defense. Don't you dare. I ought to save my strength in case I need to run from something. Probably. Well, it looks like the path continues over there. I don't really want to go down there, so rock hoping it is. It is sort of difficult to climb when you have no hands for it. That is a big wolf. That is a very big wolf. Hey there. Don't get any ideas, you two. Heavy armor versus fangs. Heavy armor is going to win. Ask me how I know. Gods, that is huge. See, I grew up around the bulwark. And I grew up here in stories of Morrowind at its height of power. The great cantons of Vivex City. I feel like I'm starting to get a taste of what that might have been like. Gods. Azura, 
who led her children away from the disaster of Vardenfell. You are the prophet that reveals our true future. Excuse me? Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Seen my coming? What exactly do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Azura wants a champion with no hands. I find that hard to believe. You look younger than I am. I find it hard to believe you, but... I also know better than to question prophecies from Azura. So, what does she need? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Right. Well... I did just come from Winterhold, so maybe this prophecy is... actually has some teeth to it. Alright. I trust you. Twilight, guide your path. And yours as well. Well, great. I'm not sure how I feel about having prophecies about me from the same Daedric Prince that originated the Nerevarine prophecies. That just sounds like a quick way to get cursed to me. Although... I suppose I already am, aren't I? These hands are a curse right at the moment. Yeah. Wait a moment. We have Azura. And prophecies. We have a blight. I don't want to think about that. Oh, gods. Well, this should be fun. That's a long way down. Great. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Ah, there you are, Cactus. All done. Indeed. There's actually a window in the Arcanium that lets you see out to the Shrine of Azura. I actually saw when you came down off the mountain. I'll, uh... You'll have to show me. Oh, I will. I absolutely will. So, what next? Oh, there's, um, there's something that we should probably do that has to do with college. I sort of have something to do here, also. Okay. What is it? I need to find an elven mage that studies stars. An enchanter. Oh, uh, well, the enchanter up at the college is an imperial, not a, uh, not an elf. But... The, the guy in there, Nelikar, we might talk to him. Good idea. Uh, oh. Hello? 
sorry. Um, excuse me. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. I'm actually not applying to the college, sort of. I'm looking for an elven mage that studies stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Actually, a, uh... A priestess of Azura sent me. Azura? Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? I know they're for enchanting. And that's about it. They are. Except the gem is always consumed. They're frail. Except for one. Azura's Star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin Varan. What did he do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. You realize who you're talking to here, right? But... Are you sure it was Azura that drove him insane, or was it his illness? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student, and in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. Right. It sort of sounds like Malin got what was coming to him. The college would agree with you, but do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. True. You do sort of have to have a healthy dose of caution working with them. Right, Illinolta's Deep. I'll remember that. Mm-hmm. Or try to, anyway. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, sorry, I kind of got stuck behind this lady. Did I hear something about Azura's star? Uh, maybe a bit. Excuse me. That makes me quite excited, actually. I've read about Azura's star. Uh, a soul gem that doesn't break. I. Imagine the kind of power. I imagine we ought to get it back to Azura, frankly. Um, right. Oh, before we do that, uh, the thing that I was talking about with the college, it's much closer by, probably. Do you know where Illinolta's Deep is? Uh, no, but I know who might. He's the, uh, librarian up in the Arcanium. But, uh, you see, Tolfdir is leading a group of students into the very first Nordic settlement in Skyrim. And I really, really, really want to go. Alright, let's go. Why are you asking me for permission? Well, because... You are... 75% of my impulse control right at the moment? Right. Where would this place Winterhold be? Winterhold belongs to Skyrim, not the Imperials, or the Mages. Alright. 
Anyway. Right, it's uh, just up there and over the pass. And in a hole, as it turns out. Who knows what kind of strange and wonderful ancient artifacts might be down there? You sound altogether too excited about this. What? I can't help it. I'm a Telvanni. Knowledge is what I do. That is fair. So, where did you learn about this star, by the way? Well, from Nelika. Right, but why did you need to go talk to him? That was a long pause. I... Azura might be pulling my strings a bit. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh! Uh, we love interfering, Daedric Princess. I... Oh, by the way, I need to tell you about the Arcadium while we go there because it is wonderful. You have to see it. It's full of so many interesting things. <laughs>